Yeah, well, we can we can. F- Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the Tech Shaman Show. Uh, we're here again. Long weekend, brother. Oh, I'm telling you. Long weekend. Long weekend. Yeah, Gatlinburg. Oh, yeah. Went to Bigfoot Conference. Oh, my God. Awesome. Yes. Absolutely phenomenal. Yep. It was as good as the one in Ocala, except for I got to see Bigfoot. all the... I mean, you never get to see Bigfoot. What I the think. I, well, yeah, I used to have a Bigfoot that lived in my house, but... He didn't. He was unhappy when I called him Bigfoot. So, oh, by the way, I want to. I want to show you. So you see that Zen City Brew Co. Um, these yeah. I love these ladies. They're in Tarpon Springs. They made me my own cup. It says the man, the myth, the legend, John. <laughs> That's. Cool. And then he didn't met me yet. Yeah. But they came. They brought this. They were one of our chamber shows, and it was like, oh my god. You, and and uh, the president of the chamber went. Boy, you you just feed that ego for him, don't you? Oh yeah, that's just oh, John, God John's, mercy. And John's got that <sighs> happiness going. Yeah, on. happy, happy, <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. Remember yeah, that? Especially when you get to have oh God, Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> loved Ren and Stimpy. You know, one of the ones I, I love the most is when when they had the horse. Yeah. They had a big fire on the, um this this building, and a horse jumps off the you know top floor, and he lands on the ground, and he he gets all jacked up, and he's screaming, "Ow!" You know, "Ow!" Yeah. The pain, and they're like. Uh, could you tell me how uh, how how do you feel? He says, "Yep, yeah, yep. I, I, I didn't like it. It, it hurts." <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Ren and Stimpy, uh, pinky in the brain. My, uh, oh, even yeah, though even yeah. though I was older, I I, I, I still love those yes. those, two, those especially, cartoons. Especially were. when the teeth come out and you got the little nerves. Yeah, yeah they're, they're going to pulling them out. Yeah, right, I'm like, ah, right. oh, you to the day. I got like, ah. <laughs> no, oh. no, no. Yeah, that's some crazy stuff. See. Those are cartoons, you know? Those were cartoons. Now the ones are even stupider. I know. God. <laughs> but I will say that that generation of cartoons, I think, I think you know, we, we caused, you know, we <laughs> caused an effect. I think we... Yeah. We, <laughs> we're probably the ones that made them dumb like this. Yeah, so. they got the cartoons. They're all crazy yep. after that. It's like, they don't even make any sense. So a lot of tech this weekend. Yes, yes. A lot lots of interviews. Of, um, lots of tech going we, on. I did get to see the uh, crew from um, Exhibition Bigfoot and, um, and Bobo, mm-hmm. you know, and everything squatchy. You know, Swatch all it. those guys were there, so it's kind of cool, you know. And I got to saw some friends. I went to see Mark Muncy. Um, so we have a lot of articles today, and we're going to kind of jump around. I was going, I was going to try to keep everything. I was going to try to keep everything kind of in order, but I like the fact that because some things lead into the other, right, right, right. right. Um, and the one thing I want to talk about is 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 you know the Mac is really the Mac is starting to look like the iPhone. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The operating system is yeah. slowly descending into iPhone territory. Isn't it? So I don't like that. No. No. Wow. I I liked I like being able to go to my iPad and my iPhone. Well, they look alike because they're they're the right, same right. thing, right? But I don't want my I don't want my iMac to look like my phone. I want it to function like a PC, or not a PC, but I want it to function like a desktop. Exactly. Not look like a desktop, mm-hmm. not function like a desktop. You know, you know I, I just, that's just me. You know, that's my personal way I like things. Think, think of it this way, you know. It's like, it's like you have, it's, it's you have uh, the subframe, you know. You have the mm-hmm. chassis, and then you just add whatever body type you want to it, but right? the chassis stays the same. I, well, I get that part, and that's what Apple's trying to do. Yeah. Well, and, they're they're getting lazy. That's well, me. That's being lazy. Well, it, it is and it isn't because you at the at the same time, you know, you get to use the same chipsets. You can you can true. You get to use the same same hardware across different true. platforms. You have less potential for failures of of different 
just chipsets and, and different designs. You don't have to make a driver for this device that's different from this device. Your right. operating system gets to keep all the same information in it, you know. So and, really what changes is the peripherals. Yeah. and, and Right, the, peripherals. And, that's and what we call them, peripherals. How you work. So, you know, some people may be fine working with a, a, an iPad, you know, and then some people may need to have that, you know, you know, the, the function of a PC type, you know, a monitor, keyboard and mouse in front of them. Some people just want to watch TV. Right. Some people want just in a mobile device, you yeah. know, and I think that's where I'm, I like it being mobile. Um, I've actually, so I bought a, when we had the, when we had the cafe, we had the, um, we had, I bought a, point of sale system through square which came with this yeah ipad right and it's been sitting around and, and it's literally been stuck in the point of sale system that's boxed up mm-hmm. and i'm like you know what I, i'm getting hard I, it's hard for me to read because i'm dumb to <laughs> no i'm just yeah. um it, you know it's seeing i can't see well right you know and it's because of many 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 years of little mini screw you know me, my micro screens on our cameras and then i'm in front of computers like mm-hmm. literally 10 hours a day so i pulled it out i set it up cleaned it up put it back on there and it doesn't have a lot of memory in it which sucks but um now i'm using it and i'm starting to go oh now i probably want to get myself one of those um yes. keyboards you know you where you literally can turn it into you a little to, computer you have got to get the one that's the apple folio keyboard combo is it good Be- because it gives full mouse functionality oh you get a mouse yes it gets it gives oh. you a touchpad and, and a full functioning keyboard especially for like the 11 inch uh ipads right uh i got the 11 inch ipad air um well this one does not it gets Wi-Fi, but it does not get um, cellular. Cellular. Oh, that's okay. Hotspot. We're all right. Good. That's what I. Yeah, I use my phone. Yeah, yeah. But the the thing is, is this this the 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 stand? It magnetizes, sticks right to it, um, and it Bluetooths everything to it. Uh, but the thing is, is you get a full functioning mouse. It kind of looks like you know when you touch a touch screen and it lights up the little white mm-hmm. around it. Um, it kind of looks like that moving around a screen. But you can right. click and tap and do things that you would normally do, and it it creates a laptop feel on the iPad. But do you have a system. do you have a physical mouse or is it a touchpad? Touchpad. Thing? Oh, I hate touchpads. You can get a Bluetooth mouse and oh, okay. sync it to your iPad currently. Yeah. I, I hate I, <laughs> every laptop I've bought, and like and it's all it's all touchpad. And I'm like oh, I just I almost go in and try turn the function off. Yeah, yeah. I don't want it. Yeah, and because I like the right click, left click, I like that. Mm-hmm. I like the little roller ball. You know, I really like. Um, I, for a while there, I was I was hooked on the um, the big roller balls. Right. Yeah. And yeah. then you know you have the clicky on there because like I was quick with it. I'm like, oh my god, this is awesome. But you know, now to find those. Yeah, I know they're they are hard to find. It's like people don't people don't. Is are just people not using them anymore? Eh, or I think that's what it is. I yeah, think that just you know mine. the the design aspect i think that's more i have one at home and i'm like if i ever lose this i'm but it's it's old i'm and you know it's laggy now because so basically what we're talking about guys is also that the operating system for the macbook pro macbook airs and the um you know the all the laptop Mm -hmm. and desktop uh branding of the apple products they're changing they're changing the operating system is functioning and acting like ios on the phone yeah so the lock screen looks kind of the same you're able to on your desktop you're able to add widgets that are like live tiles just like you do on your home screen on your right. on your iphone and you know everything has been slowly migrating to that you know the 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 icons are becoming softer, more rounded. Um, the coloring in the operating system is changing. The whole base operating systems changing because, you know, Apple's moving away from Intel. Yeah, and they're going to Apple Silicon. Mm-hmm. And as that happens, you know, you, you can run, basically, these things will run iOS natively with no problem. Right. So it's time to take that operating system and start changing it. And the operating system currently has the capability of running 
um, Intel-based uh, programs um, by using by using like a virtual machine inside the uh, right. operating system. It runs it in a container. Get, was that boot camp or? Well, no, 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 different no it's, it's, yeah. As a matter of fact, the, the only bad thing about the new Max and M series units is boot camp's gone. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. And no more Windows. No, you can you can still run parallels and then run it in a virtual environment. But right. as far as you know, uh, natively, um, boot camp's gone right right now. So and I, and unless unless it, uh, Microsoft uh, decides to write for ARM. Um, and start building on that platform again. You know, they started to a long time ago. Right. Uh, with, uh, I believe it was called Windows RT. And um, if, if they start doing that, there's a good possibility we could Windows see that. Ert. Yeah. Ert. Um, Windows ERT. ERT. Windows ERT. But uh, it, I think, I personally think it's kind of cool. It kind of looks, it looks the same, you know, especially in, you know, you know, for instance, my, my wife, you know, she likes everything to be the same. Across the board. Mm-hmm. So if if the laptop's not, you know, syncing up to the iMac and it doesn't look right mm-hmm. and something's missing here right. and it's not there yep. and this the file didn't sync from iCloud because it didn't connect to the internet. <laughs> right. So she turns on the laptop <laughs> and everything's like a little different. She's like, where's my desktop picture? And I'm like, it's not syncing across my devices. I'm like, oh, it's not really that big of a deal, but come on, just give yeah. it a sec. And now you next know it changes. So yeah. I, you know, I, I don't, you know, I, I guess I've, I've, I've been, I was forced to back into the PC world mm-hmm. when, when, uh, when Mac went to, uh, or Apple went back to when they, when they released the first Final Cut 10. Yeah. When it first rolled out and I looked at it, I'm like, I'm not using iMovie to edit professionally. Yeah. And I didn't like it. So I was forced to go back to, I went back to Premiere, which is where I started a, like year, I mean, decades ago. Um, and then when Final Cut really got stable, that's when I came out when I became a Mac guy. Um, but <clears throat> now it's like Apple went, okay, we're going to go back to being Power Max. Right. I still call them Power Mac. If they're going to go back to their own. Their own silicone, yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, 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 now they're back to being a Power Mac, and the Power Macs are absolutely 100% one of the best machines to edit on well, there just, was. Just period. Think, they, they've, they've had all this time for, for testing mm-hmm. and improvement, and they already, they already designed their own um, PCBs and everything and right. the whole layout. So it was, it was just a matter of time, you know. And I'm, I'm happy. Like, so that may, I, may, I may migrate. See, the, the, the only problem that I have with the Mac is they, they, don't, they don't do what the PCs does when it comes to live switching like we're doing right now. Right. What you're watching is coming off of a PC. And because a PC can take 24, 58 inputs simultaneously mm-hmm. and deal with it. Macs are like, still, nope, one at a time. Yeah. You can only do one. You know, and it's funny and to me. That's they a have, problem. They have so much bandwidth free. I know. Why devote it only to? And, and that's that's right. always been a common problem, even in the in the music industry. You know, yep. just you know, you connect one source, and that's what you get. You get the best of me. Yeah. With that one source. I mean, you want more help? Add right. some more devices. <laughs> the only the only thing that they did multiple wise was audio. Mm-hmm. You know, because then you could you could hook a, a a a digital board and you could you know, but but that's technically it's one right. You know, um, but when it comes to video, the day they go multi on video, I'm in. All right, you I'm, know what, John? You, know what, you don't have to do it. It's just you're gonna have to buy a a, a crud load of Mac Minis. Oh God! No. Connect every single one no, to one no, source, no, no, and then, and then, no, no, and then no, no. manage them all. No, 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 no. That's never going to happen. So, uh, but, but while we're while we're talking about Mac, so I downloaded this. So you can now download. Well, actually, you can now download the beta. This um, uh, it is uh, it's the updated version beta. So I downloaded yeah. the beta I, iOS so this seventeen. Is the public public beta. The public beta. But yeah. I've already. But, but I'm already on. Version two of the uh, actually version. Did you did the developer or yeah, developer? Oh, okay. Yeah, and I and I report glitches yeah. and the whole nine yards. You oh, got me oh, actually. You got me doing that. Yeah. Because normally I was normally I would like nope if it ain't working I don't want it. Yeah. Type of thing. Nah, I don't want to mess with that kind of crap. Nope, nope. But I like being the I I like testing it. And let me tell you. Oh my God! There was some serious it issues. Looks like um, it looks like there's going to be some serious changes to the operating yeah. system as well. 
Yeah, um, it, so you can get you you can down do the public uh, beta now as uh, iOS 17, right? Um, but I want to jump. So I I want to jump, and I said I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to do this because I want to jump down to uh, iOS 16. So iOS 16.5.1, Apple, you know, Apple released an urgent iPhone security update again. I don't understand why. Well, this rapid security response. I want to go back to 17, but yeah. I want to talk about 16 This rapid quick. security response first came out, and it was available, and then they Apple pulled it. And the reason that's why it's got the C on it, right? Um, because Apple had to pull it because there was a lot of uh, issues with websites loading uh, after this security and uh, um, yeah, it blocked websites. Yeah, it was blocking a lot of websites. Blocked websites. It was like no, no, you no, no, you no. no. Internet. And then you know what's kind of funny? You say that because when I went to, when I when that when that was happening, I got the alert that I could download the um, developer beta seventeen. So I did, and it fixed it all. Yeah. It went back to normal. The only the one of the biggest complaints I have about seventeen right now is seventeen is um, when you are when you're typing it when you're sending a text, mm -hmm. it goes away. The keyboard now covers what you're typing. Yeah, those those user and it's interface. little it's little stupid things like that, but it's frustrating because yeah. you're like so you have to it done, and then you then you hit the back button and then you pop it back up it hides the bottom of your text, right? And it's in text. It's a messenger. Uh, what was the other one that was on? Um, oh, yeah. I was typing in them. And then it dropped your, on Safari, it drops your uh, URL button to the bottom. Mm. That's so, annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. Yeah, you can, you can usually, go and tell it to go back can, to the yeah, top. Yeah, usually you can go back in. But it forces it to the bottom every time. Oh, so it doesn't. So every time you do an update, uh, it knocks it to the bottom. So you have to go back and tell. No, I want to go back to the top. Yeah. So that way, up there, when you're typing, you can see what you're typing. Yeah. What happens is, is it gets down there, and, if, and I'm like, I'm in a hurry. I don't, I don't go. No, I want to go to the top. Well, then next thing you know, I'm typing. I'm like, well, yeah. God, the did right I, web address? I did just I just in. misspell that, or I don't know. So yeah. yeah, that's that's my only complaint. Well, yeah, that's that's a valid valid point. Um, I I think there's going to be a lot of there's a lot of cool features. Oh, I, and you know what else it did? It knocked my smart app. So I use I have a in the in the in the Florida house I have Sensi thermostats. Oh yeah. Um, it it won't. It's it's refusing to let me work with a Sensi app. Yeah, until the developer updates to the new the new version. I will so, I will tell you that um one of the big features that I'm really waiting for is the the voicemail to text so it kind of works so basically what it is is if you if you send a, a phone call to voicemail or it goes to voicemail you can see the live dictation yeah as they dictate yep. the, the the conversation to your voicemail yep. it's recording it and scripting it out for you on the screen live so the cool thing is say just imagine you're in a meeting you know, really important meeting, um, you know, and or networking meeting or whatever you're doing. And um, you see the phone call come through. You always send them the voicemail because, you know, that's mm -hmm. just a proper thing to do. And you start reading it and it's, you know, hey, John, our complete, you know, camera systems down over here at uh, blah, 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 blah. Right. And, um, you know, I need to back up fast. You know, you, that may be an urgent phone call for you to take. You're like, oh, God, I got to go. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. see it. And then you can go pick it up and you could pick it up. And finish the conversation with yeah, the person, yep. which is a cool feature. That because, is very cool. Yeah, yeah. So you can still receive the voicemail, yep. send it the voicemail, do what you're going to do. But at the same time, you can still monitor what's happening Yeah. And, and decide for yourself if this is a very important call and capture it before you lose that connection with right, that person. Right. So yeah. I, I think that's a really cool feature. That, that does work well. Um, and actually, it works way better than I thought it was going to work. Yeah, let's put it that way. I mean, some doesn't of the work words, perfect. Some no, yeah, some, <laughs> but it but it's doing way more. It's doing better than I thought it would. Yeah, so. I think I think they're. I, it's almost as if they're taking the voicemail live on the phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that whole well, they should have been able to do. Look, well, first of all, I don't know. In, I, I in the beginning when they were starting to give us, you know, what was it fifteen? Where uh, they started transcribing the uh, oh, yeah, the, voicemails. the voicemails, yeah, <clears throat> you know it was glitchy at best. I mean, you're like, that's no way that person said that, you know, or, or the numbers they would give you it was like it would give you numbers and it would spell out a number, and like, yeah, give you a phone number, I, I and it's like one 
eight, 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 blah, blah, blah. And then it like four and it would spell four instead of the number four. And I'm like, okay, that's, yeah, that's, I, I've that's seen that up. a few times and that's annoying. But anyway, uh, but so, yeah, so it, it's getting better and better and better. I guess I, I can't, you know, everybody makes fun of, uh, if I see one more flip phone ad where they go gaga over the flip phone, <laughs> it's like, I saw, I saw one, I saw one this morning where they are, it's a bunch of kids and they're talking about it. You only have to blink once. And I'm like, you know, you can set your, a lot of people don't realize you can set your iPhone up where you don't have to swipe up. You can do an, you can do an eye motion. It will open your, it will open your phone or your iPad up. Yeah. You can blink your eyes. You can't. Blink twice. Yeah, you know, so everybody's like, you know, because I was talking to somebody, and they're like, well, one person goes, well, yeah, I just, I just got to do a head movement, and my Android will work. I said, well, iPhone, I did that lump like two, two, uh, two versions ago. They're like, no, it doesn't. I'm like, you have to, you have to swipe up. I was like, no, you don't. Yeah, you just have to activate it. You just have, but you have to go turn it on to say, I want to do on a head movement. All right. And they're like, oh. And I said, and the same thing, you can actually, you can go into your phone settings and actually, uh, you can do a head movement and it'll actually take a picture for you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to sit there and hit the button and and time it. They're like, oh. So I'm like, Android's behind. Mm -hmm. And then the new big thing is the flip phone. So everybody that I know that has a flip phone has two flip phones. Yeah. Because one's always not working. Yeah, the new, the new the new Android ones where the screen folds over. Yeah. On itself. Oh god. The, the, you know, they, they either it folds this way or yeah. it folds this way. And and I, I always look at them and I see that crease. And always. I'm like, and I'm like, man, that's got to be the most annoying thing to see. Yeah. I would be so annoyed to see that. Right. So basically, they're selling you two phones. Yes. With an extended screen. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? Yo, oh, I'm so glad I got right. two phones now. That's it's it's not good. You get it's two, just not. Do you get good. two separate phone numbers. <laughs> <laughs> you should because yeah, it's right? two phones you yeah, know that right it's yeah. two phones and it's two phones and the video card side is in, is in the video card is in I, um, I saw someone take it apart the video card driver and module is almost two thirds of one of one side oh that's what drives it and then your and then your camera and stuff like that is your normal phone mm. So that's telling me that that you know that is a monstrosity inside there, and I don't know. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't. I don't, like I don't it. think it's. I don't want to crease. I don't want to, have to open something. I don't think up. the technology is quite there yet. No. Nope. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. If you try to keep your phone five years, I could just imagine what that crease is going to look oh, like. Oh, after that plastic gets bent, 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 bent. Yeah, bent, bent. yeah. That's and like taking a piece brittle. of metal and bending the metal back and forth. Eventually, that's going to it's going to turn. Oh, just the white crease is going to go boom. And and that plastic is going to become yellowed. Yep. And it's going to become brittle. Yep. And it's going to just you know it's going to just crack a, a per- permanent crack yeah. right to it. Absolutely. Man, it's going to look like crap. It's going to look like crap. Anyway. So speaking of crap. <laughs> yeah, that's a crap So shoot. U.S. government emails hacked and suspected Chinese espionage campaign. And the funny thing is, oh, is they're, they're talk, the, the hack happened on Microsoft servers, on Microsoft's um, cloud-based uh, uh, email servers, um, which most all businesses are moving to. Yep. And, and um, <clears throat> you know, in-house... Um, Email servers are usually, oh, this is so bad. You know, you can't have an in-house email server and things like that. And, you know, come to the cloud. It's it's going to be safe and stuff. And obviously, Microsoft is, you know, touting their security features. <laughs> Moves, you know, the government comes on, you know, sees how safe it is. And they get their emails hacked. And, and you know. So safe. You know, so, <clears throat> so safe. And Of course, you know, he is in bed with. You know, he is in bed with the Chinese anyway, so, you know. Uh, and, and the funny thing is, is that the fact that the emails, they, they claim that, unsec- you know, it, it didn't contain any kind of, you know, um, security clearance type emails, things like that. These, these were just, you know, not classified emails that were hacked bull crap i i, I don't they're just if saying they've that got into your emails they, they can get they in got your into the system. government yeah they got yeah. into the government email system they and you know what shame on microsoft because at the end of the day that belongs to the united states government right so and, and most it guys are going to be like well that's you know that's that's their it's fault you know what? no this this is going to go two ways and and microsoft they should know that hey, you know, I got a I got a big player on my system, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna keep do whatever it takes to make sure they're happy 
and they're protected. If you can't keep the federal government safe, what what says that you you're you're not leaving a door open for every other company out there in in, in the United States? You know, there there's there's a back door somewhere, right? So so I, this next story I want to talk about since we're on hack. No, just kidding. Yeah. <clears throat> um, have you ever heard of Li-Fi? Li-Fi. Li-Fi. Y- you know, years ago, it I'm, was, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking, it had to have been about seven years ago. They talked six or seven years ten ago. Ten years ago. Has it been ten, ten years? Ten years. Yeah. They had talked uh, about Li-Fi and people are like. In light bulbs. Right. That was one of right. the deals. That's, yep. So the more lights you have in your house, the more of a mesh network you have yes, in your house. Yes, yes, right? yes. That, that yeah, was a cool before, idea. Before the word mesh network was a thing, they were already talking about it. And 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 it was just like everybody's like no no well you know and then everybody's like well if it's that, if it's going to be first of all it's fast it's mm-hmm. supposed to be it, it makes Wi Fi look like the a horse and buggy yeah yeah you know, it, it's uh it, it's a hundred yeah. times faster yeah. but pretty soon everybody we're not going to be able to record any videos indoors because. Mm. <laughs> the refresh rate on our light bulbs and everything blinking so quick to trans transmit our data right. is going to be f- messing with the cameras. But it, it but it uh, proponents boast that 802.11 BB is a hundred times faster than Wi Fi. Oh and yeah, secure. and and 802 B 811 BB. That's uh, massive. I could I I know definitely it would be faster. That's that's a given. I mean, the, you're you're talking about light right. waves over versus radio waves. Right. One problem is line of sight. It's yeah. It's gonna it's gonna have to be. It's gonna be. The issue is gonna be line of sight. So obviously, line of sight means you can't really work through walls all that well. So, but if it's using the infrastructure, right? So, yeah. in um, Li Fi system, uh, system reusing a building's a building's lighting and infrastructure for data, um, and if the lights are not on, it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, you imagine and they don't blink, they don't flash. It's whole a whole transmitted, but <clears throat> um, two hundred and twenty four gigabits per second. That's huge. That's gigabits. Ha. <laughs> so you're 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 in your home office, you're working, somebody comes in, turns off the lights, and you're like, son of a bitch, I can't get on the internet. Right. And you can't, and because you're using the internal light structure, mm-hmm. right? Basically it's using the li- electricity lines. Yeah. Right. Um you can't you you can't you can't um, hack it. You can't be hacked from the outside right? because the outside walls will literally, so your mesh network is strictly inside. It's a cool, it's a cool idea. Definitely a cool idea. Gr- great for um, like television streaming services. Mm-hmm. Could you, you know, you just imagine, you know, that would be like uh, why, why even run hardwired network when you can just turn the lights on and right. have the lighting control this high speed internet. And they, and they've got this, it's called a light Antenna one module for it that they've already worked on the uh, integration and they're trying to. I guess they're going to work on phones first. Yeah, that's um, it be. says now that IEEE 802 standard is published, manufacturers can have greater confidence in the ecosystem and, and start integrating the tech where suitable. One of the big wheels of Li Fi Pure Life, Li Fi has already prepared light of antenna for integration in connected devices. So it's only fourteen point five millimeters long, you know. And, and, and there's an image of it. I don't know if we showed that image or not, but um, I'm just saying. To me, I, I remember. I remember when this technology first was being talked about. Man. And I'm like, this is gonna. This could be cool. So this this and means, it could be like freaking useful. So this means kids can no longer hide under the blanket and text their buddies. <laughs> <laughs> Internet's out. Oh, what are we gonna do now? The internet out. Now I don't think it's gonna replace Wi Fi. Nah, yeah, I don't. You think know, so. but I think it's. I think it's gonna be. A, I think a, it's another standard that can. It was only time. Mm-hmm. You no know, time is was, actually. You know what held us back the most is technology. Yeah, you couldn't make the sensor small enough to be able to put it in devices, um, and I think, I think because we moved to LED, mm-hmm. and it, and that's really what it's. So I. I'm not positive. I'm trying to get more research done, and I'm just talking. This is this is John's 
I, this is my brain going, this is how it works. You can't do it with incandescence. You can't do it with fluorescence because, for, first of all, the fluorescence noise. Yeah, will, there's will, just too will. much. So the minute LED lights became good. Which is now when the prices have dropped. Right. So I remember when the first LED bulbs, oh. one bulb was $30. Yeah. 30 bucks for a freaking round light bulb, right? Mm-hmm. So now, I mean, you can go in and I can like, I just switched out LEDs at the house in Georgia on the outside porch. And I remember one of those little candelabra uh, bulbs used to cost $11. Yeah. Now for $7, I got 16 lights. Yeah. Right. So, but now that LEDs work and they work well, mm-hmm. um, they can be, you can actually start putting them. They're got, I, I got a feeling though, what's going to happen is they're going to put them in bulbs. So you're going to have the life five, um, the sender, mm-hmm. re- sender receiver, right? So that's got to yeah, receive right. the signal from the modem or from your wife, or, you know, from, from whatever going to feed it. And then it's got to be able to send the signal, and then phones and computers will now start getting, you know, the Li-Fi on the back, yeah. or integrated into something to be able to pick it up. Yeah, and they, can put, they can put a Speed sense. of light is... If those things, those modules are not too expensive to create, I mean, they literally could put one on both sides of the phone. Right. You know, one on, one on the front, one like on the Like they back. do now. Yeah. So, you know, you, so now you have speed of sound... Speed of electricity versus speed of light, because mm-hmm. you, you know the, you know the, that's how it's faster because it's speed of light. There's fa- speed of light is the fastest form of measured wavelength movement. Right, right, right. So you know, it, so that's going to make a big difference. I oh, think it's it going to be huge. Um, I'm kind of I'm 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 like going. Oh, I remember I remember talking about this in um, tech tech world a long time ago and it's like this is, this is yeah it's good. just it's like then it, it just went dormant it's like yeah, it's it went almost, dormant and then all yep. of a sudden it's like boom it's back you right. know but i think it's back because they were able to to slim down the system technology caught up yeah you know the is it it doesn't it it's not that you know the the knowledge is not there Mm-mm. and the ability is not there right. it's just can we create it that is going to be you know economical Right and small enough, you know, and functional enough, and then we can say to the masses, "Look what we can do." Well, that's like the movie. <clears throat> take for instance the movie Avatar, the the original, the Blue Monkeys. Yeah. I call it the Blue Monkey movie. <laughs> um, so Avatar, he wrote that decades ago. Right, right. But he couldn't do it because there, the technology wasn't there to do it correctly. Right, right? to do it. At the at the level he needed it, and when technology showed up and was able to do it, he cre- he created Avatar. Now the new Avatar movie, not that I've watched all of it, but I watched some of it, is better than the the technology wise is right. better than the first one. Yeah, it's it's just crazy. So yeah. it's all it's it's all about it's all about you know people are coming up with great. I mean, look Tesla. Tesla had it right, man. Mm-hmm. We could have so. My brain also says now test now if you can do Li-Fi now, um, t- Tesla's Tesla's way of delivering electricity now is getting closer and closer to being actually done done the right way. Yeah, the way the way it, you know the way he wanted it, I think he would have hurt a lot of people. <laughs> Just it's saying, okay. it's okay. It's, well, why am I tingling? There's electricity in the air. Well, mm-hmm. we have electricity in the air now, but with Li-Fi, I mean that's a better way. Mm-hmm. Right, so we're getting we're getting closer and closer to where we can actually do what Tesla. Of course, you know the energy companies will never let that happen uh, because yeah, pretty know. soon they'll have no choice. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I think yeah. that's they'll, they'll they'll just turn into uh, uh, manufacturers of of you know uh, electrical resources. Um, but while we're real real quick, while we're on the subject, while we're on blue monkeys, well, no, while we're on the subject of uh, internet, real quick, yeah, I just wanted to give you an I, um, thing that I've been uh, doing some work on. Uh, just remember, there's technologies out Wi-Fi six, right, and there's Wi-Fi six E, and then there's new Wi-Fi seven standard, right. Um, did you know that Wi-Fi six and Wi-Fi six E is not backwards compatible? It's not. No, Wi-Fi six is is still the is like a five point. 8 gigahertz, it's still considered a 5 gigahertz range. Right. But Wi-Fi 6 runs into like the AX uh, Mm -hmm. type bandwidth. Still considered in the 5 gigahertz range. Just a sub-range, you know, kind of like a a little bit of a different one. 
In when you get a router that's a Wi-Fi six E, right? Wi-Fi six E runs in the six gigahertz range. Correct. Which, if you have a Wi-Fi six compatible wireless adapter, it will not be able to see the Wi-Fi six E. Oh God. Router. So just just FYI, if you buy a Wi-Fi 6E router because you want some of the better technology right. that's out today, make sure that your devices and your iPhone cannot do this. Not yet. It is Wi-Fi 6 compatible. Not Wi-Fi, not Wi-Fi 6, 6E because there is a difference. And there is a difference. And I will tell you that Wi-Fi 6E is Did we wrong. experience some problems? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, because it's it's a naming it's a, it's the naming schemes right. of how they do things. You yeah. know, and then you start you start having to read into the technology function. You know, and you, you're like, you know, well, you know, if you have something that's a Wi-Fi six compatible, you should be able to see yeah. a Wi-Fi six E because yep. that's the next itiner. Yeah, that's the next generation. But they did not state that. Oh, by the way, Wi-Fi six E is a whole new. A whole new bandwidth right. that we're switching to, and all your older devices are not going to be able to see it. And the same thing when it comes to iPhone, you know, a lot of people are assume Wi-Fi six. I got a Wi-Fi six E should be able to be backwards compatible. It is and it isn't. It can't see the six gigahertz, but it can connect to the the five point eight and be able to to you know function on so, the higher speed. Okay, this. My question to you is, is why are they working on 6.6e when 7 platform has already been worked on? Oh, 7's out. 6e is like everybody's, you know, jumping on it because, you know, it's obviously the prices on those uh, devices are starting to come down. Right. Um, And uh, there's... But 7's being worked on. But there's no 7 devices. And there's really, technically it's, excuse me, obviously right now with our iPhone, there's, you know, no 6e devices either. Right. So, you know, it's kind of like... You go jump on a 6E, and it's going to be available and around for a while, even if it's the first generation of the 6 gigahertz range. You know, there's still a limited amount of devices that can run on it. Um, I just recently got a, a quad band router, which gives me a 2.4 gigahertz range, two um, uh, Wi-Fi 6 compatible 5 gigahertz range, so I can go all the way to AX, and a separate band on 6 gigahertz. Hmm. I will tell you that the 6 gigahertz range um, is the, it, it looks like it's even shorter wavelength. You know, it's, I mean, it doesn't have as, as uh, strong, strong a range. So, okay. The engineer in me. <clears throat> Radio stations yeah. prefer lower I mean, I mean, higher, um, no, I'm sorry, lower numbers. Right. Uh, as I saw, say, you know, an AM station or actually any radio station doesn't want a 107 point whatever. They would rather have a 91 point blah, blah, blah. Right. Longer because range. Longer range. Right. Right. The, the higher you get, the more power it takes to get you out further. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it's. In in the in our Wi-Fi world, yeah, or in our internet world, I'm I mean, sorry. Is that, no, I, that's backwards. I'm sorry. No, the is, lower the number, no, they want higher numbers because the lower the number, like okay, <clears throat> take it for like sound. So you have a speaker system, mm-hmm. right? You have a tweeter versus a sub. It takes more power to run that sub right. than it does to run that tweeter. Right. So the higher frequencies go further and push harder, and, it, and it's less power. Same thing with the when it gets into the uh, six and so to get into seven and eight range, it's higher gonna, processing power, right. more RAM, more everything. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take plus, more. Oomph, you know, yeah. Plus, you're you're pushing more. You're pushing more power to the transmitter, but you're also you know you're also feeding more data through that. But it can also make you okay. So. Remember how the big thing with, all oh, the 5G is going to hurt people, blah, 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 blah. I've noticed all my pains and aches have gone away since I installed it. <laughs> well, it's because, it's because that frequency is getting, in, getting closer to oh body God. frequencies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you start, yeah. Twitching? Yeah, yeah. You, you will. 
So, but that's good to know that it's not backwards compatible. Yeah, yeah. Just, just a little FYI, you know, just in well, case you know, good somebody, to know. you know, goes out I'm there. Not, buys that the means latest. I'm just going to hold way off until well, seven you know, shows up. Then I'll go to six. I dumped a six point uh, a six E uh, wireless adapter into my uh, gaming computer at home, and uh, I will say, is it? I have, I have, I have God speed. God speed. Yeah. Forget, forget. Forget having you're killing the, you're killing the little guys and, and the cool online. Thing, no, John, think think of it this way. I also have one single band all to myself because oh yeah, no one's nobody touching nobody it. else is touching my. So I re- so I remember I remember you saying to us a long time ago that your Wi-Fi is dictated to the oldest piece of equipment you have in your house. Yeah, I mean they've they've created more technologies out that uh, you know. Airtime so fairness. I get rid of like old that. stuff. Yeah, it's it's best not to have the older stuff on there because you know you you're it 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 will sometimes eat up bandwidth and it will just cause the rest Bottle of the neck, network everything to, yeah, else. the rest of the network yeah. to slow down. And I stuff always like try that. to find everything in the house that's old. I'm like no Wi-Fi for you because it just sucks. Yeah, there's so many uh, so many different you know A A B G right. N. And um, I, re- I really wish that uh, a lot of the manufacturer would start making their Wi-Fi equipment good for five instead of having to s- go back to two point four. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I, that's it, the dumbest thing I've ever seen. You know, it's funny too. Is the thing that bothers me is it's a chip as well. set for God's like sake. you go out, you go out, and the Spectrum comes in, or somebody comes in, and they install their their router, and they they give you one SSID, and yeah. I tell the router, "Hey, you decide what speed I'm going to be on, mm. dude." That that causes so much problems. Yep. Yes, it's great to have one network to connect to and then it decides, but I'll tell you what, your router does not make the proper decision sometimes. No, it doesn't. My, with the T-Mobile yeah. that we use, um, I had to go into the back end and tell it give me, don't do not make the, don't do this, don't be the smart guy. Right. I want to have 5G available and I want to have 2, 2.4 always available right. because when it when it decides, oh, you know, hey, Mister Refrigerator, you can't talk to me, or hey, Mister Thermostat, you can't talk to me because I I run five. You know what? You know what happens? What mm-hmm. happens is okay. Say for instance, you you have your router, you connect it to the network, everything's good, and all of a sudden somebody turns on a microwave. Okay, now you already had a little bit of a problem connecting to the five gigahertz, but you didn't know that because you only had one SSID and it right. already showed you had full bars. So all of a sudden, you know, you get a little interference. The router determines that you've moved further away from yep. it. And it says, oh, we're just going to switch it to the 2.4 range. Yep. And then once the microwave turns off, it's not going to switch you back. back. Yeah, no. You're already connected at a really good rate. They yep. they don't know none the wiser. Right. And you're going to be sitting there doing your work wondering, why, why is my computer just not functioning as fast right. as it was? Right. You know? And, and if it's detrimental to your business or what you're doing, like, yep. for instance, you know, Zoom calls or, you know, teleconference. Streaming. Streaming. Yeah. You're, you're going to be like, oh, what's going on? You don't have time to sit here and it's like disconnect, reconnect, you know, things like mm-hmm. that. You know, you can't and break does. that connection. And so people don't know that. People don't realize your microwave in your house or even in your business can mess with your Wi-Fi oh, and, your, yeah. and your internet. Yeah. So. yeah. so real quick, um, speaking about Blue Monkeys, we were talking about yeah. uh, Bob Iger sticking around a little bit longer at Disney. Monkey. Is he a Blue Monkey? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he's going to be sticking around. Uh, He'll stay for two more years. And and the reason oh, no, why... No, I'm sorry. I don't know how long he's going to stay, but yeah, he was only supposed to be there for two years. Yeah, now it's going to be at least four years. So, uh, you know, the thing is, is the reason why I stuck this in here is not because of anything that's happening in the landscape, but right, right. look what's been happening to, like, you know, uh, Disney streaming service and, and all those, the shows are being cut. You know, they're trying to cut back. And, and this is this is what Bob's come in and he's like, Time to clean house. You know, we can't yeah. we can't have so many productions out there just going ham, you know, and too much stuff, you know, out there and, and rolling around. We gotta reel it in. And um yep. and basically he's slimming down the you know, they're 
cutting the fat. They, they got to cut the fat. You got to, cut you got to, you know, you can, you know, it's, it, it's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. So and I was going to, I was going to put, I'm, I'm, we're just trying to rush through here. So I was going to put this in. I'm like, ah, you know, this is really not tech stuff, but you know what? And then you put it in. I'm like, this is awesome. So the FTC is going to, it appeals its law, uh, its loss to Microsoft and Activision Blizzard case. You know, yes, Microsoft wants to buy Blizzard yeah. and they want to um, basically pull them into the Microsoft gaming yep. uh, realm. This has been going on and off. They've been fighting it for been, four years now. And you four know, years, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's it's been a while. And um, the the reason the reason why uh, you know FTC is involved and why Disney really, I mean, uh, Microsoft wants this, is because a lot of game companies uh, want to be able to have exclusives for their devices. Yep. And if you have um, all the Blizzard uh, um, software titles, and you can sit there and turn around and say they belong to the Microsoft ecosystem, right? So you have to buy a Windows-based PC. You can only play it on your Windows-based PC or Xbox. Right, exactly. You know, we Xbox, can. Yes, yeah, Xbox, yes. Yeah, we'll have it on Xbox Live or this or you know. But if you're PlayStation, has. you're crap out of luck. Exactly, and this this is what. You know, this is why Nintendo stays around, okay? It's yeah. not because they're the most powerful. Mm-hmm. It's because they have titles that are locked to that machine. Yep. They will always be locked to that machine, that that company. And um, they're just fun to play, yep. you know? And and the same situation, except for you have two, two companies that can cross-platform. And yeah. the only way to, to nip it in the bud is... Because they don't have any of their own, really their own original content to a degree, um, that that they have to buy, you know, gaming companies, you know, uh, software developers, and and pull them into their ecosystem. So you know, obviously, there's probably a lot of people out there saying, you know, that's you know, kind of like monopolizing the gaming industry and things like that. But so everything is not meant to be fair. No, no. That's how people make I, money. And, and uh, you know, they're, they're worried about, you know, comp- comp- dude, it's a gaming company. It's not like, you know, Microsoft is, is, is going out and purchasing, you know, um, Linux distros. And it's not like they're going mm-hmm. out and buying Apple's, uh, you know, um, uh, ecosystem. Right. You know, this is the... It is and it isn't. It's, it's not really a big deal. And the FTC, this... There's way bigger issues out there right. happening in the the, the you know um, uh, entertainment industry, the news industry. You know, dude, you know, we may lose TV for a while. Yeah, I mean, look what's I happening mean, now. You know, because so now the it's the the Writers Guild and the Actors Guild are go. Eh, we're all going to team up. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, look, look, look PGA. Tour wants to go out and hook up with the Saudis and be. In, in, it's not that they in. want to; they're doing it. Yeah, it's th- done deal. This, I mean, and, and we're worried about Active Blizzard and 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 Microsoft joining forces. Okay, so look, what do you think is bigger? This is a good question, and I hate when I, we may go down a rabbit hole. What do you think is bigger, the sporting world or the nerd world when it comes to gaming? You can't put them into Gita. So let's take all uh, the games. I mean, uh, all the games. All the games. Oh, I mean, that means football. It's, it's, it's that the means nerd. It's the nerd world. Easy. Uh, outweighs sporting. Yeah, yeah. A million fold. Yeah, and and not just that. I mean, they, it's gotten to the point where they've already they've they've made their own sporting events. Yes. Out of out so, of the games. So like I remember a couple years ago when Magic the Gathering had their big tournament. I think it was in Japan. Uh, I may get I may get a shout from our our technical director back there. Um, <clears throat> so <laughs> it they streamed that live, yeah. streamed it live. It was a live event. This is before COVID. It was a live event, and, and I think it was either it was either in Japan or Korea, one of the two. Mm-hmm. The the um, the amount of people, and it was a week long thing, I believe. They couldn't fit everybody in in the in the uh in the arena all the days all the other life so so in the streams alone outnumbered every super bowl put together 
It's the LCS, not not Magic the Gathering. Oh, LCS. What is it? Uh, legal legal Le- legal oh, legend. Legends. Okay, yeah. so so again, I'm I'm old. Um, but, yeah. but they they uh the streaming outnumbered and the people's in the stands outnumbered all the Super Bowls. Yeah. And this was something that wasn't on TV. Well, I think there was a couple of people. I think a couple of very unknown TV stations, mm-hmm. right? But but so when and this is something that's worldwide. It's like comparing American soccer. I mean, American football to the world soccer, right, world yeah. football. It can't compare to the world football. It just, it just I mean, it can't. Uh, it's worldwide, uh, and so. I always ask these questions of you know I like I'm when I because you know I do the rowdies so I am the um, I'm the head technician there, TV guy, and I ask him I said what's more popular, the world of sports, or the world of, uh, esports like you know, and I'm not talking about just football and in baseball you know MLB online I'm talking about. You got to bring a League of Legends in. You got to do Magic the Gathering in. You got to do uh, uh, World of Warcraft. You got that's 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 the, the sporting world cannot hold a candle to Dude, this side. John, John, the World of Warcraft is has been and always will be one of the most addictive games. Oh, it is. And it, I will tell you that it's what of about it's got to be what twenty years. World of Warcraft, yeah, probably. Uh, on, 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 yeah. On, and then we're talking the PC. Yeah, PC started PC it. PC started yeah. it, and World of Warcraft is is no joke. You know nope. these 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 people. If if you kill one of their characters, told you I, we're I going to, down. I told you we're going to go. I swear to God, hole. it would be. I mean, there's people who are addicted. Yeah, and and have to go to therapy. Yeah, and, be, and I am not kidding. Yeah. you know, and they will give up their whole life. For this game, right? You know, and it is no joke. World and, of Warcraft. You get League of Legends. You've got Magic: The Gathering. You've got um, oh, what's the run around shoot people up? Um, uh, uh, oh gosh, they have different worlds. Oh my gosh, I'm drawing blanks on all this crap. Um, what is the one? Uh, I don't. It's uh, you shoot people. It's war. Uh, the world. Uh, it's all different wars and oh goodness. Anyway. So it just it's amazing or you know it's, it's yeah, yeah, my yeah. son plays it what do you play it uh um uh, golly gee willikers so saying that like um, saying the one where you shoot people is yeah. like they like i know i know i know like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's 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 anyway there's there's so many i i didn't realize how much more the how much more the um the uh, uh, the the online gaming. Yeah, I always thought the sports would be you can't you know there's but if you took all the franchises together, all the baseball, all the football, all of the basketball, right. uh, what's another? Uh, even the American soccer. You put all those leagues together, right? With their fan base, can't compare. Doesn't even come to half of the online gaming. You know, like recon. Um, uh, ghost, uh, ghost protocol, mm-hmm. all these, uh, you know, you can't, it's, it's just, it, the nerds outnumber the jocks. Yeah. A hundred to one. And especially, especially when it comes to, you know, old games, indie games out there, things yeah. like that, you know, it gets, it gets worse. <laughs> yeah, it does. You know? So, I mean, I am the best pong player in the world. I'm just saying <laughs> I am the pong. Ch- so I'm going to talk about something kind of cool. This last thing I'm going to talk about is the Webb Telescope uh, reveals uh, a, stel- a stellar birth oh. um, of uh, 50 baby stars. Wait, no, 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 they're like they're like little uh, little baby stars, little, little baby stars. You got a picture of it too, and everything. Um, yeah, I, so the Webb Telescope is really paying for itself right out of the gate. You know what I'm saying? It's, How many holes are in it? <laughs> <laughs> We're funny. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty cool, though. Is that cool? Now I know that's not exactly what it looks like. You know, that's a artist rendition, and they yeah, put yeah. all the the stuff in there. But that is cool as hell. Hmm. He, they show us the real picture, and it's just like a little blob of light. Yeah, you're, you're like, what digitized. is that? That's not what that looks like. <laughs> well, yeah. So they, now, how, they, how do you they, get that out of there? Well, you know, artistic world in there. But is that not cool? Oh my god, that is cool. I just think stuff like that's cool. But I also want to roll out, um, I want to talk about this uh, Intel. Did you see this? Intel rolls out a 16-millimeter process technology tools. 
at low cost, low power, FIN FET node. You know, I, I'm I'm getting to the point. And I'm trying to figure out how how small right can you go? How small oh, can, can you, you go? go? Well, I mean, they're trying. <laughs> I guess they're trying to make um, implants. Yeah, right. Thing. That's the only thing uh, I can which, reason. Only thing I can, or or they're trying to get into nanometers, and so they can get into the um, little, you know, like you put the little nano nanomites inside your body and goes and repair stuff. It looks like um, they're trying to address uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities uh, in these uh, technologies, I'm trying to get the um, higher transistor density. Higher performance, lower power, fewer mass. It's going to be pretty interesting. Um, we don't need stuff smaller. We just need stuff to work. Well, you know what it is? is like <laughs> Make it work first. Think of it this way. Apple's making stuff smaller. Yep. But their screen's bigger. Yeah. And I'm these, okay with that. And it's these little devices that can power these great big screens. I, they're, Apple's working on a 32-inch iMac. 32-inch. Dang. The new iMac, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. The motherboard is just is 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 only like maybe two three inches wide, and right. it just covers the very bottom of yep. that big screen, and then the rest of it's just screen, empty yep. space and screen. That's it. That's all you got. You know. I want to get. I so my <clears throat> my my goal is is to get a new iMac that has got the Mac Pro software in it. Mm. You know, so I can edit with it. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. One of my guys uh, used to work with us a lot. He he went and got a system. Thing is a monster. Makes us makes my PC in here and my PC is pretty beefy. Render time is a third. Yeah, I, I just don't know what they right. do and how they do it, but whatever they do, they know how to do they're it. Doing it well. They're doing it well. Yeah. Doing Well, I mean, back, it, doing, I, doing I remember well. when the trash cans came out and they're like, <laughs> they're trash cans. Yeah, literally, they're, they suck. Yeah, they were horrible. But that's but that's how they learned. They they because they were building their own chips at that point. Right. That's when they started integrating their own stuff, getting away from Intel, um, got back into their own stuff. <laughs> In the beginning, they were not good. But you know what? Now. I think it's time to go. Me to go back, um, and you know the good thing is Premiere works on on Mac, so I'm a, I'm really okay yeah. with all that. So as long as I can, I, I don't I don't think I'll ever go back to Final Cut, but I'll stick with there. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching, everyone. Man, this was it's been a good show. Sorry yeah. we jumped all over the place, and we went and we went. Uh, we did bunny trails, which I know try and drives people crazy. Yeah, but, but at least it gives you guys some uh, options of so what you want. We're going to have some guest techs coming on. I'm going yeah. to. I'm not going to be here next. Uh, though, um, I'm, you know, I, so we're going to start. Things are going to start changing a little bit differently. Um, uh, we just because there's a lot of stuff going on elsewhere. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll see everybody next week on the Tech Shamans. Have a techie week. <laughs>